so hello guys today i will be making the famous keto french fries the ingredients i actually need is half a cup of um, almond flour half a cup of coconut flour i'm using the normal coconut not my refined half a teaspoon of onion powder one teaspoon of salt we might not use all one medium size egg white and your oil for frying now the end result depends on the kind of oil you use in frying this thing okay this is my i know this one is going to make it have a buttery taste this is just going to be plain this is just going to be plain the other ones don't really have taste or flavors like that like this and then sometimes i actually combine my tallow i add a little bit of tallow to my oil to give it that flavor if you want to flavor it actually you can do that all right so what we're going to do and some hot water so my almond flour is not a finely ground almond flour so what i normally do is to get it to be finely ground i tend to want to blend it some more my egg white I'm going to add the rest of my dry ingredients. Half a cup of coconut flour, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and some salt. <laughs> I'm sorry. This thing looks like grand egusi. Are you sure I'm not going to try out a recipe with this in making egusi soup? Look at it. Just look like finely ground a goosey. My African people will understand what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to try that one of these days. Only it's not going to have that taste. Sorry guys, I forgot my zentem gum. One teaspoon and a half of zentem gum. One cup. One cup of hot water. I will slowly, slowly, slowly pour it in. Now, this next stage is very, very important to the um turn out to the end result of what you're going to be doing all right you see the way it is so i am going to put this in the fridge and cool it down so this process is very very important okay I'm going to put it in the fridge once it cools down and I will bring it and continue. Okay, we have it out of the fridge. You can always leave it at room temperature too if you want. With this, it is much, much more manageable is the word I will use. There is a whole trick to it, okay? A little coconut flour here. All right. I'm going to be shaping it the length that I want. Also, a little coconut flour here. Okay. This is what we want. And then we'll fold. Let's see if I need it to go down 
some more. Put it here. One. Put it again here. And another one here. So this is actually um, the shape I want my fries to be in. So you fold it into the shape you want to cut your fries to be in before you start your cutting. Now, why do you have to do it like this? Because it is easier to roll and take out the cracks. Two options here you can either put it back in the fridge freezer to harden it some more or I tend to dip my cutter in oil when I cut my keto fries and the shape you cut it makes it very easy to cut okay the end result depends on the kind of oil you're using. Oh, my oil is not hot enough yet. Now this is the difference between the oil being hot and the oil not being hot enough. So now you can see the difference between the three of them. They are all still the same um, mix, but because it's different temperature of oil, you see what happens to it. So for us to actually get this on the way, I'm gonna be using hot oil. Now, if you want it crunchier, you can actually fry it some more. But this is good. The rest of this, I'm going to put it in the fridge. Or rather, freezer. I'm going to freeze it and then I will fry it and see the difference in both of them. I'm just going to put it in the freezer like this. If you want to store it up for longer, you can always cut it up, freeze it in a pan, and then put it in a bag. Not like this. Let's be testing of this first. It's not as crunchy as I would want. We sprinkle some salt as it's hot. Because the salt I used wasn't that much, so you need to sprinkle some. Okay, let's test it. What it looks like inside. If you want it crunchier, you might want to cut it smaller or thinner.
so this is basically it this is the one that is um fried straight up and this is the one that was frozen and then i brought it out put it on the table at room temperature and then i cut it up but I believe it is better if you cut it up and freeze it so that immediately you bring it out of the freezer because it's difficult to cut when it's frozen. So immediately you bring it out of the freezer, you could just fry it like you will fry your normal frozen fresh uh, French fries, fresh French fries. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. All right. The main recipe needs about um, half teaspoon of salt. The salt being inside is better. Oh, this is good. This is good. I prefer this. And then, like you can see, you can make it ahead, freeze it, and fry as you want. Now you don't necessarily need to make um, a batch. And then with a the dip, I'm having a frigasm now. If that is a word. So thank you guys for watching. Tell me which you prefer. Number two is my best.